There is no emotion. There is peace. There is no ignorance. There is knowledge. Master Jedi, apologies for the interruption. We have a situation. What is it? The Nava computer. Someone's tampered with it. Added a whole bunch of data about a planet called Rishi. Nothing on Rishi but pirates and gun runners. Slicing our computer would be out of their league. Show me. Master, what is it? A vision. This planet, Rishi. We must go there immediately. Very good. Couldn't they practice with sticks or something? I'm not sure I'm equipped to reattach arms or legs or heads. The Great Doc not up to a real challenge? Thought your skills were second to none. I never said I wasn't skilled, just that I'm not equipped. Yeah, for that. Reattaching limbs. It's a poor workman who blames his tools. Master, is something wrong? I saw a planet. Far away, remote, and an island city. <laughs> Rishi? <laughs> no, I didn't. Wasn't me. I've never heard of the place. A glitch? Sabotage? Confirmation. We need to travel to Rishi right away.
Uh, hello. You're from the Red Hulls, aren't you? Welcome to Raiders Cove. Nothing but fellow pirates here. You and your crew don't have to kill or maim or eat anyone. Right? Kill or what? Eat people? What are you talking about? It's what you do. Everyone knows. And it's no big deal. I'm sure those people your crew ate on Talaran had it coming. But we're all friends here, right? No need for any massacres or cannibalism here. <laughs> uh, as captain of the Red Holes, I promise. No massacres or cannibalism. Definitely no cannibalism. Oh, that's a relief. After everything Goro was saying about you, I mean... He's the one who said you were coming. He won't shut up about it. Said he really wants to take you on. I'm sure he's just bluffing, though. Where can I find this Goro person? Ah, uh, the cantina? Probably. He hangs out there a lot. They serve good food there. No need to eat anyone. You must be Goro. Bampaula Kavaji Oto. Easy, Goro. I just cleaned up after your last brawl. Don't do this to me again. Kafsta undile, jigo hola lukuta. Who told you that I'm the captain of the Red Holes? Makipuna mali tuta, or nishka. I heard that all pirates are welcome here. You aren't exactly making me feel welcome. Ili kalia kuka. Ugh, this is the worst mess yet. You, um, you're not gonna eat him, are you? That's the last thing I need people hearing about my place. The, uh... Red holes only eat people during raids. That's our code. Uh, okay. Good to hear. Do you know who told Goro about me? Kai Zygen. He's an idiot that runs one of the crews here in town. Goro had just come from one of Zykin's Sabak games when he started talking you up. Had to be him. I don't let Zykin or his goons into my place. You'll have to find them out in town somewhere. And watch out for Goro's brother. He's a handful. Talk to me. I want some information.
I'm looking for someone. I'm looking for someone. No way am I getting in your way. Kai Zaiken? Uh, uh, no speak basic. Uh, ni wana wonga? Neither did Goro, apparently. This is not my day. Hello! Yes, I am indeed Kai Zaiken. Though there are probably lots of people with that name. Just saying. You know why I've come. Nobody messes with the red holes. Of course! A debt's a debt. <laughs> and my word is my vow. You don't really need those credits now, do you? As in, now, now? Pay your debt in information. I want to know who told you about me. Don't make me ask again. Oh, well, if that's all you want. There was someone who tipped me off that you were coming. Go on. It's, uh, it was a message, so I saved it on my data pad. <laughs> Yeah! Oh. I shall beat your man, Nanama. Great! He put it in the lockbox! It's all yours! Anything else in there, too, you just help yourself. An appetite for murder! You're a strange one. Can't say I've ever met an alien quite like you before. I'm Rishi. You wouldn't have met anyone like us on any other planet. That's what everyone in town says anyway. Seems like everyone in Raiders Cove is going on about you and all your insane adventures. <laughs> Talk about your tough customers. You're basic. It's very natural. My people pick up languages and stuff real easy. Some of us like to be formal. I'm more of a cantina talk type. Speaking of cantinas, you the blaster's path. Local watering hole. My good wrath, you look the same as ever. How many Jedi have you slain today? We meet again, Valren. In all seriousness, how are you? I understand you've been working tirelessly for our Empire. Is it satisfying, your craft? Putting down huts and cults here and there? Our Empire is surrounded by those who would destroy us. I stand in their way. You know this. I do. And I admire your handiwork. Yet, I worry for your future. The Republic claims the Emperor is dead, but I hear rumors to the contrary. The game pieces are moving. Speak plainly. Consider this. The last wrath of the Emperor served in that position for centuries, only departing after turning traitor. As I understand, you never chose to become the wrath. The position was thrust upon you. What is it that you truly desire? I am the Emperor's wrath. I do not seek. I am our master's fury embodied, and to doubt that is to voice treason. Ah, Roth, forgive the confused words of an old man. I worry for you, and forget the glory of serving our emperor. I have a gift to aid your endeavors. I have come upon indications that you are being watched, and have been for some time. These spies are mechanical, but ingeniously hidden using combinations of ancient and modern technology, welded into form using the Force. Tell me how to find these droids. I would have words with them. An associate of mine with connections in the Gri Enclave manufactured this, a device to reveal your foe. Use it to reclaim your privacy, if you wish, or to look upon the face of your watchers. How does it work? Activation is simple, but I draw your foes somewhere remote. The jungle, perhaps. To avoid interference. 
There is more I'd offer you, but not until I'm certain we are alone. The spies will soon be ash and scrap. Then we speak of the consequences. I will remain on Rishi as long as I can. Good hunting, Wrath. Do not permit this. This explains much. Servant One. You should not have destroyed the Opticrons. The droids exist so that we may know you. You exist so that you may serve our master. The droids spoke of a ritual. They said that when he returns, all stars will die. The sayings of the Opticrons must be interpreted with care. That is our work, not yours. You are an instrument of our master's will. Perhaps you have spent too much time serving among the fleets and the Dark Council. First Ilum, then Makeb, and on the list goes. What does not threaten the Emperor is not your concern. We fear you forget this. Your last instructions were to keep the Empire strong for the Emperor's return. Should I proceed differently? Not yet. Not so long as you remember your role. We are at a delicate juncture, and you must trust in us. Now, I understand Darth Valron sought to meet you here. He has committed crimes against the Hand. What sort of crimes? He sought to learn our secrets and interrogated a servant. We believe he is fleeing to the unmapped stars of the Rishi Maze. Did he reach you? If he left this world only recently... We might still find him. If he attempted to contact me, he failed. I felt a presence here and came to investigate. Then our search must continue. He will not elude the Hand forever. We will not ask that you stay your saber and return to the tranquility of our fortress. Your edge must not be dulled. Have faith that all questions, all concerns, will shortly be resolved. The Emperor is returning, and we will fuel his flame. Your cryptic words mean nothing. How will he return? What does it mean to fuel his flame? Fear not. It will be glorious. Be ready, mighty Roth. Soon, you will fulfill your true destiny. What the? Hands up the monkey lizard! Corsair territory. You're going down! Kaizaikun, greetings. I have important information for you. The Red Hulls may be the galaxy's most bloodthirsty and sadistic pirate crew, and they're heading towards Rishi. I'm sure you remember the debt that you owe the Red Hulls. Quite a few credits. Not something they're likely to forget. My droids are spreading word of their arrival. If you were to do the same, they might be too distracted to come after you. The choice is yours, of course. They're victims? Find out when they arrive on Rishi!
Greetings, gentle being. Let me regale you with the tale of the dread red hulls and their monstrous, flesh-eating captain. Oh my! You are the monstrous, flesh-eating captain of the red hulls! What a singular pleasure to meet you! Who programmed you to say these things about me? I'd be happy to tell you. Very eager to meet you, after all. Big fans. You can find them at these coordinates. But do be careful. After your magnificent duel with Goro, there may be others out for revenge. Excuse me, you there? Have you heard of the dread red hulls and their monstrous flesh-eating captain? You're Goro's brother? How does that work? Odin Regeka Tuk Tuk. Odin's lay now Kima. Log Furum Skyo Maktelim. Kuga! Gora, Gora! Team unstable, bra! Dao Gai, Dao Gai! I'm sparing you. I wish I could have done the same for your brother. Please remember that. Hey there. Theron? Lana? You're the ones behind all of this? Guilty as charged. Sorry if we put you out, but we had to be cautious. The Revenites have gone to increasingly severe lengths to hunt us down since we destroyed their operations on Rakata Prime. We had to get you here to help us without leaving a trail. Sorry we couldn't be more... direct. I'm sure you wouldn't have done all of this without a good reason. What have you found? We need to go after the pirates that run things on Rishi, the Nova Blades. They butcher entire starship crews and enslave anyone on Rishi who stands up to them. And now we've learned that they're working with the Revenites. The Nova Blades are being sent to attack trade lanes in very specific areas. They've gradually remapped quite a bit of stellar traffic. It's all very strange. We may not know the Revenites' exact plan, but the pirates will. Exactly. We need to shake the Nova Blades down, find out what they know. Their computers could tell us everything. But a direct attack on the Blades' base now might make the Revenites suspicious. We need to hide our real motives. So that's why you told everyone I'm a pirate. When I attack them, it will look like a fight between gangs instead of a targeted move. Exactly. Now, before we send you for the main event, we should hit a few other Nova Blade holdings to solidify the cover story. The Blades have a supply cache hidden nearby. Once the Red Holes have destroyed it, word should spread quickly. We have some... mutual friends who are excited to help with the task. They'll meet you in the field to settle the details. Jakaro and C2D4? The very same. While you're hitting the supply cache, we'll keep spreading the word about your grudge and see if we can find any other targets. Sound good? I'll get out there right away. Good luck. Must you complain so loudly, Master? There could be ruthless pirates or hungry wildlife all around us, hearing us, smelling us. 
I'm glad to see you're still helping us out. We need all the allies we can get. <coughs> Saren and Lana said you'd have a plan. <coughs> You mean, we don't have to go charging in face first this time? We're staying in the ship? Oh, thank you, Master, thank you. Oh, yes. Please make sure it's clear that this was the work of the Red Holes. We need to keep up appearances, after all. Very well. Let's get started. <laughs> Circuits crossed for collateral damage. Jakar just sent us an update. I think it's probably enough to keep the Nova Blades busy for a while. I've heard there's a Nova Blade lieutenant in charge there, a guy named Donovan. See if you can find him. Might have useful intel if we'll talk. It's like a war zone, Commodore. We're gonna lose everything if we don't airlift what's left to the slave camp. And we're not backing down just because some upstart crew thinks they got what it takes to break us. Buckle down, be a Nova Blade, and kill whoever's messing with us! But Commodore Marcock! Go tell the Commodore and the rest of the Blades that the Red Hulls are in charge now. Heard stories about you. Drop Goro. Put a fright into that weasel Zykin. I took down a dozen contenders to get this post. I ain't even a little bit scared of you. Theron, do you read me? The supply cache has been destroyed. Nice work. I believe one more assault on the Nova Blades holdings should be enough to solidify our pirate feud and disguise our true goal. One of the Blades mentioned a slave camp. Do you know anything about it? We do. You remember me saying that the Nova Blades basically run things around here? For the most part, they're pretty hands-off. But if someone stands up to them or fails to pay their fees to live here, the Blades grab them and ship them off to the slave camp. The slaves are a substantial part of the Nova Blades' income, both through their labor in hazardous mines and as merchandise for off-world slave traders. According to our information, the slaves are kept on a remote island under heavy guard. Do you think you can manage to free them? You really aren't like other Sith, are you? I like to think I'm my own woman. Since we don't know the island's exact coordinates, your best bet is to stow away in one of the shipping containers the Nova Blades take out there. Once you reach the slave camp, you can catch them by surprise, break up the security, and free as many as possible. All in a day's work for a noble Jedi, yes? About time I got out of here.
Chikaro, I have a pickup for you. C2D4 here. We have your coordinates and are on our way. Been mining Exonium for the blades every day for two years. All to pay off a lousy three grand I owed. And I ain't the only one. You're free to do what you want now. Yeah. And we had to talk about that. Even in this place, we hear stuff. About your gang, the way you've been making life ugly for the Blades. We want to be a part of that. You want to work for me? Hey, we're good at a whole lot of stuff. I tell you what, get in touch with a pal of mine in Raiders Cove. Harlow Ricks. Check in with Ricks from time to time, tell him what you want us to do, and we'll do it. Simple as that. You get nice and close to Margok, you give him one for me, alright? I got the slaves off of the island. We heard. Word of your raids is going around fast. Even the Revanites have heard about the Great Red Hulls. We just intercepted this transmission from the Nova Blades headquarters. This is ridiculous! How am I supposed to hold up our part of the deal if you won't give us any backup when we're in trouble? Then perhaps we should seek other allies. I'm sure there are other crews on this planet who are capable of managing their own affairs. Hey! We've done our share. You wanted the shipping lanes raided, we raided them. You wanted stragglers picked off from the big battles, we did it! And your clumsiness cost us our Mandalorian allies. Torch and her crew of old fossils? We're better off without them! And I'm beginning to think we're better off without you. Deal with your own problems, if you want to prove otherwise. Do you know anything about the Mandalorians they mentioned? I've heard people around town mention Torch, but I didn't realize she was tied to the Blades or the Revanites. Might be a good lead for later. Right now, though, I think we should press our advantage against the Nova Blades. Agreed. The Nova Blades are based out of an old crashed warship, the Aggressor. You've probably seen it off in the distance. You need to hit them hard. Make it look like the goal is to completely crush them, so nobody notices when we raid their computer cores for intel. Chikaro is refueling his ship as we speak. While you approach the aggressor, you can use your target designator to call for his assistance, just like before. I'll contact you as soon as I reach the aggressor, and then we can finally get the answers we need. May the Force be with you. Vajal's name, but we've never met. What do you suppose he's found out here? Darth Nox, everlasting Night Lord. It is my deepest honor to welcome you to Rishi. I'd begun to doubt, but <laughs> I was a fool. You sought an audience, and I have come. The reclamation service will observe. On my life, I shall not disappoint. I was sent here thirty years ago, not for Rishi, but to stand on the brink of the Rishi Maze, the dwarf galaxy. Thousands of unexplored worlds just beyond the known hyperlanes. My master tasked me to monitor those dark stars. You were appointed long before Thanaton. Who did you serve? I followed Darth Arctis before his ascension, yet my loyalty is to the Empire. If I may, what has your research uncovered? I built 
a deep space communications array to watch, to listen, to try to contact the maze's inhabitants. And I, I received signals, messages. The language is ancient, uh, contemptuous of translation. There are Sith words, Rakata, Gri. The messages contained instructions for improving, modifying the communications array. Uh, even I don't understand what functions the machines now possess. Whoever or whatever sent these signals must have contacted our galaxy before. What could the origin be? An offshoot species is possible, or perhaps an artificial intellect, a lost Rakata drone in deep space. When's the last time you received a signal? The signals went silent some years ago, but I believe the array is now waiting for you. Waiting for me? The last messages said the array required one twice transmuted and reborn to the mother. Transmuted, as I was on Balmora, and by the corruption of the Sith spirits. And then rejuvenated by the mother machine of Belsarvis. Fascinating. Some distant species has been waiting for you, Dark Lord, whether by prophecy or biology. You could activate the array, learn its purpose. What does your reclamation service experience tell you? My lord, my experience says that pursuing mysteries such as this often leads even the wisest Sith to insanity. History is clear, but curiosity urges me forward, and you have defied the odds so many times before. Await my return, Virgil. I will examine your machines. As you will, Dark Lord. Genetic flux analyzed. The Tesseract is fear. Subject confirmed. The Dark Lord's lifespan increases by one solar cycle. Genetic decay analyzed. Redeem or destroy. Subject identified. The Dark Lord's lifespan increases by one solar cycle. Mother's Mark analyzed. Someone must be sacrificed. Subject identified. The Dark Lord's lifespan increases by one solar cycle. Recorded. Beware his desires. Subject identified. The Dark Lord's lifespan increases by one solar cycle. Lord Vajal. Was all to your satisfaction, my lord? Were the machines responsive? The Dark Lord's lifespan increases by a solar cycle. Does that mean something to you? Then it was real. What was real? Real. Arctis believed, Thanaton believed, but I doubted. I, I feared to offer you false hope. The machines are made to increase life expectancy, cellular rejuvenation. For, for anyone without your uh, exotic past, the process would surely have failed. But for you, Dark Lord, those machines have granted you months or years, a taste of immortality. You're saying we've just, what, stumbled on the secret to eternal life? Not at all. We've only just begun. 
Grant me battalions to pacify this world. Grant me scientists to replicate the machines. Grant me fleets to explore the dwarf galaxy. Now we know the secret to your everlasting glory is here. We need only find it. My lord, I have concerns about this course of action. You are here to advise. Advise me. The long search for immortality so often leads to ruin. You saw this with your first master. Who will count Zash among the great Sith when she squandered her power on a fruitless quest? And now, with our empire in such need of your resources... I will remember your counsel, but I am not Zash. Lord Vajal, Moff Pyron will supply you troops as soon as possible. Keep me informed of all progress. Yes, Dark Lord. If it requires a year and a thousand men for each month of life you gain, it will be done. Good. For now, I have an empire to run and crises to see to. All glory to Darth Nox. All glory to you. work. You really are insane. Coming after us here? Should have stuck with picking on tourists in the Outer Rim. The Red Hulls aren't even real, Margok. I'm here about your friends, the Revenites. Uh, you know more than I would have thought. But you're not gonna take our place in that deal. Or any other. The Nova Blades founded Raiders Cove. We've been here long before you, and we'll still be here long after. Good job blowing our cover there. Lucky for you, I've shut down his other comms, so he can't give Revan a heads up. I can get the doors open, but it looks like the Nova Blades have their own slicers on staff, so I can't get any real data. I'll take care of them. Good luck. Got access to the place. See what you can do about opening the line for me to slice in remotely. This is my ship. Think you can just walk on in and be left alive? Run away while you still can! Got you on the ropes! You'll never take the Nova Blair! I'm in. There are dozens of comm logs in here. Hundreds. Sent to people all over the galaxy. Coruscant, Droman Kaas, Corellia. The names are all encoded, but breaking through that is only a matter of time. I'm gonna get started right away. Great work. You should hurry back. Despite what we overheard earlier, the Revanites could show up at any moment to try and help their allies. Besides, I think we've earned a bit of a celebration. 
don't know that Jedi and Sith celebrate victory in quite the same way. Well, now you'll have a chance to find out firsthand. I'll be back in no time. Perfect. Welcome back. You've achieved more in your short time here than we ever thought possible. You should be proud. I think seeing that smile of yours is a much better achievement for the day. <laughs> now you're just teasing me. I also said we should stop for decorations on the way. Now the party's terrible and it's our fault as much as theirs. Hey. Slicing the Nova Blade files is slow going, but I've already found more references to this torch person that Margok and Revan were talking about. She definitely heads up a group of Mandalorians based here on Rishi. They were allied with the Revanites, but then broke ties. And not on good terms. If we can find Torch and get her talking, she might give us some good intel. Maybe even help us take the Revanites on. Fought my share of Mandalorians. It would be nice to have some on our side for a change. Agreed. We don't know anything for sure yet. It's best to be cautious when it comes to Mandalorians. Fair enough. It looks like Torch and her crew control their own island not far from here. Think you could head over and see what she has to say? This is going to end badly. Wait and see. I'm sure you can handle one aging crew of Mandalorians. <laughs> Barsenthor, I'm glad to see you. Masters Bestros and Nostaral send their best. We miss your insight on the Jedi Council. I miss the Council's debates, Grandmaster. But alas, Tython isn't where I'm needed. I've heard rumors, but I can't guarantee this channel is secure, so I'd rather you safeguard your secrets. Just listen. The Jedi Council must do more than react to crises. We must see to the future of the Order and the Republic. What we've seen in war, the truths we've learned, will be our gift to later generations. And few Jedi have seen or learned more than you. I've done no more than any Jedi. You were there at the war's beginning. You rediscovered Tython. Years ago. And humility is no virtue when it blinds. In truth, you are becoming one of the greatest Force users our Order has ever seen. You stand witness to our era's conflicts. But, to reach your full potential, you must test yourself. And there's one trial you've yet to undertake. You want me to construct a holocron? Yes. You've contributed to holocrons before. But we need a full archive of your history. Your thoughts. A record to continue all your life, as you grow, learn, and change. I don't object, but why a holocron instead of a written record? It would certainly be simpler. A holocron is attuned to the Force. When you unlock the Noeticons on Coruscant, would a document have sufficed instead? I've granted the request of Master Kutri Oa to seek you out. He is a prophet, and a master of the holocron's craft. He wishes to aid you in the device's construction. He's come to Rishi believing the Force has willed it. You might be flattered. Where is he? I'll send coordinates. You have much to offer our successors, and much to learn. Do what you must, and may the Force be with you. Ah, Barcentor! You know how long I've been meaning to find you. Kept hoping we'd do this on Tython. But when the Force gets pushy, says be on Rishi in three days, you'll know why. Well, I make an extra effort, and here you are. Your Master Oa? That I am. Here to help build your holocron. Can't disappoint Lara Cordan when she's trying to form the new Rift Alliance. Oh, or the first of the Escaneo Savants a century or so from now. He'll need good advice. I 
Those aren't guesses. You've had such visions through the Force? One of my talents, but it's not always a blessing. These days I see mostly darkness, dead planets, lots of ways the future could go. Still, if anyone survives this war, they'll need your holocron to rebuild. Ready to start? What do we do? There are some nuances. It's not just a recorded message. It's an interactive program, a reflection of your mind. A holocron can speak, answer questions. It can't think, but it will have the knowledge and memories you provide. Your expertise in holocrons, where does it come from? Habit of tinkering in my youth, and a very stern master who made me fix what I broke. But it is my calling. First thing is to scan your brain, establish a baseline. For that, we need you at a very particular level of consciousness. On Tython, you'd use a meditation chamber to achieve a sushir state of serenity. But every culture has similar rituals. We'll make do with what Rishi provides. The Rishi people must have traditions for reaching higher states of consciousness. What do we know of them? I did some reading. There's a Rishi shamanic blessing similar to the one used by the Jawas of Tatooine. I'll walk you through it. It starts with the gathering of Kishu reeds. Wear gloves if you don't want scars. Anything else? The Sushir state attunes your mind to the Force. That could mean dreams, visions of the past and future. Embrace them. I'll take you through each step on the calm, but best you make this journey alone. When you're finished, we'll begin construction. The reeds represent life and the structure of life. Feel the toughness of their forms, and within, sense the flow of the force. Breathe with the wind as you gather them. Smell their sap. Let the simple task calm your mind. As you gather the reeds, feel yourself open to your surroundings. If you hear voices through the force, past or present, do not fear. Master Yuan is taking a new apprentice. Once you've got an armful, on to the next step. Purity of body, purity of spirit. Bathe yourself in the waters of Rishi. Cleanse yourself of all concerns and let nothing trouble you. Let the waters rid you of everything but self. There is no emotion. There is peace. The hand closes. The rejuvenation begins. Targeting Republic battle cruisers! Now, there is a place sacred to the Rishi. Build a fire from the reeds there, and we will proceed. The reeds are the structure of life. Now they burn and the smoke flows inside you. Structure and form is bequeathed to the intangible air, the unseen mind. Your thoughts gain perfect shape. You were the best I ever knew. Goodbye, Jedi. There is no life. There is the Force. For the Republic! You have achieved a sheer state. Come and we will build your holocron.
our Senthor. The equipment is ready. Try to relax during the brain scan. The crystal matrix is developing, but it has to anchor itself on your experiences and knowledge. I'll ask you questions as the Force guides me. The Holocron will record your answers. The Force grants you visions, and you ask me about them? Just about. I've been doing this a long time. Don't worry. Then begin. The Republic may not fall tomorrow, but in a thousand futures it falls eventually, one way or another. I see a half-trained Jedi in the forests of Sarkai, where your apprentice bore your holocron after your death. The half-trained Jedi wants weapons to fight those who destroyed the Republic. She wants vengeance. What answer do you give? I have no desire to show people how to kill. Let me teach her how to heal the galaxy, not cause more bloodshed. It's a difficult path for her, but she walks it well in the end. She teaches others. She learns her enemies aren't her enemies. In another time, I see a Sith find your holocron. He loathes you. Your soldier died to defeat his great-grandsire. He seeks to learn what made you strong. Walk your path on the now-ruined world of Tython. Will you guide him? If he walks my path, sees what I've seen and learns what I've learned, then the galaxy will have nothing to fear from him. He does see what you saw, but he resists it. He kills before the lesson takes. In the end, though, he redeems his home. You already have many titles. Jedi Master, Barsenthor, Herald. You could bear others. Seneschal, Hierophant of the Jal Shea, Betrayer of Balmora. Which will you choose as your legacy? When your holocron is activated, how will it name itself? I was named Barsenthor, Warden of the Order by the Jedi Council. I aspire to be worthy of the name. It's how I'd like to be remembered. Then we're done. You've got yourself a holocron. Now all you need to do is spend your life filling it. I don't know where your next fight is, my friend. I don't know if any of us will make it through the year. But if I outlast you, I promise to protect what we built today, if I can. You're a Jedi Master. I could use you at my side. There's a battle coming to Rishi. I'm clumsy with a lightsaber and frankly a bit of a coward. On Tython, at least, I can do some good. May the Force be with you. And you.